It's on your screen right now when Arvind Kejriwal got on top of that jeep in the Moti Nagar area in the New Delhi constituency as he went into campaign for his candidate Brijesh Goyal. In minutes of him getting on that open jeep, a man in a red t-shirt emerges out of the crowd and slaps him hard and then is immediately taken by the crowd there and the Ahmadi Party volunteers. We now uh, know that that man has been taken to the Moti Nagar police station and is being questioned by the police. We have Saurabh Bharatwaj on the phone line with us. Saurabh, uh, huge, would you call it an embarrassment or would you call it failure of security from the Delhi police? I think, you know, there is a, there is a chief minister who is claimed by Delhi police that he enjoys a Z-plus security cover by the top police. This is a Delhi police in uh, Delhi. And it has happened so many times that you know he has been attacked by people mostly related to BJP. He has been uh, attacked. With a few months back, he was attacked with a mixy powder right there in his PM Secretariat office. After a week, there was a person who was carrying a live bullet into his house. During the Shara, there was a person who could come into his drawing room, you know, and attack him. And uh, it is, it is, it is, uh, you know, it is God's grace, you know, that that man still believes that, you know, he wants to be among the people. For last two days, he's doing road shows across Delhi where people touch him, people wave at him, people shake hand with him, you know, mm. and people uh, sometimes, you know, uh, give him blessings and he's not afraid of it. And I think, you know, uh, there is a constant pattern and there is so much of hatred against this man, at least in the BJP cadre, that, you know, they can go to any extent. And I was in a different uh, television studio just a few minutes back, and the BJP spokesperson said, no, 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 we don't agree to it, and, but people are very angry, you know. That's what they were trying to justify this attack. And I could remember that, you know, it is the same thing, you know, like Nathuram Godse killing Mahatma Gandhi, and RSS and BJP justifying Nathuram Godse, you know. This is the kind of a culture we have developed. Uh, all thanks to our central government and its political party, they are justifying this attack. They are saying, no, 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 no. People are very unhappy of Arvind Kejriwal. They, they can do anything, you know. He did not fulfill his promises. They can do anything. So this, this is the kind of a politics. Saurabh, you are the saying the BJP is behind this, but what proof do you have that this man belonged to the BJP or had any affiliations with them? There are, there are two, two, two evidences which I can, you know, okay. uh, give. One, there's a pattern. Almost all the attacks which were done on the Chief Minister, they were from the people who were somehow connected to uh, BJP. This guy who threw Mirchi, you know, when we checked in his Facebook profile, so Delhi Police did not do it. We did it ourselves, you know, he was affiliated to BJP. And, and in past also. And BJP spokesperson justifying this attack, you know, giving, mm. giving a sense of heroism to this attack. Giving a sense of you know that people are so fed up that you know they they have no no no, no other option but what chief minister mm. that's the kind of a, you know philosophy BJP is propagating in my country and I don't think we need you know more more proof more evidence than you know uh, their their official spokesperson doing it. Okay, Saurabh, can you also confirm or deny what is the current status of that roadshow now? Has Kejriwal decided to go ahead with it or has that been called off now? I don't know, but you know, going by the way the Chief Minister operates, I think he will carry on the road. So unless and until he is, you know, he's medically unfit to carry on the road. So and depends on the police advice also. You know.